Hello everybody and welcome to not seven days of science because I'm really really busy this week I, I do apologize um, so unfortunately uh, we're not gonna have a seven days of science this week it's not just gonna be a cut off or not quite hilarious intro it's gonna be no intro Starting off this week, there are indications that Romans may have been the earliest whalers, as ancient whale bones have been discovered at a Roman archaeological site. It seems that right whales and grey whales were present in the Mediterranean at this time in history, and they were hunted by the Romans that also lived in the area, though on what kind of scale is unknown. These whale species don't currently occur in those waters, so it would appear that something, possibly the hunting, must have caused the local extinction of the species in the area. Researchers have discovered the world's oldest preserved colour pigments, which date to around 1.1 billion years old. The pigments are from the remains of molecules that make up chlorophyll, known as porphyrins, and it turns out they would have been pink in colour. This find also provides clues as to why animal-like organisms did not appear until much later after the time the pigments come from, since cyanobacteria were dominating the lower levels of the food chain instead of algae. There's been a study published this week that has revealed that before the Great Oxygenation event, which occurred about 2.4 billion years ago, oxygen concentrations on Earth had actually previously increased and subsequently decreased. The researchers were able to detect the presence of oxygen by examining shifts in nitrogen isotopes, and they say the discovery is also relevant to the search for extraterrestrial life. And this has been quite the week for paleontological discoveries, with several interesting new species having been published. First up, we have a brand new dinosaur named Ingentia prima. This animal was a sauropodomorph from the late Triassic of Argentina, and is notable for being larger than any of the other dinosaurs that lived at this time, reaching about 10 meters in length, showing giant body size to have evolved earlier in sauropods than previously realized. Ingentia, along with a couple of other sauropodomorphs, have been assigned to a newly created dinosaur group, the Lessomsaurids, which represent an early group of sauropod dinosaurs that reached large sizes independently of later members of the group. Also in Dinosaur News this week, there's been a report published that details evidence for the existence of a new giant dromaeosaur from North Carolina. Only a tooth is known so far, and it hasn't been named yet, but analysis reveals it definitely belongs to a reasonably large dromaeosaur, and it's different enough from teeth of known species to be a new animal. Another cool species was named this week, the Eurypterid... <sighs> that. Eurypterids are the ancient arthropod group more commonly referred to as sea scorpions, and it seems this new genus is an intermediate form between two previously established Eurypterid groups, providing researchers with a better understanding of the evolution of this lineage. But that's not it for new species, there are even more. Not one, not two, but three new species of Naroids have been named from the Burgess Shale in Canada. Naroids, if that's even how you say it, are arthropods that are possibly of close relation to the more famous trilobites, and existed from the Cambrian through to the Silurian period. One of the new species named this week is also the largest known species of Naroya, reaching 9 centimeters in length. Thanks for watching this week's episode of 7 Days of Science. I hope you enjoyed it and didn't mind the voice change too much. Doug would have recorded this episode, but... Oh, no, Doug's dead. Now might also be a good time to just let you all know about our plans for this year's Shark Week. We've got videos planned for every single day that entire week, from Monday the 23rd of July to Sunday the 29th, covering all sorts of shark topics, from their origins to their conservation. I've personally had a lot of fun researching for the videos and learning lots of new things about sharks, and I hope you will all enjoy the week too. Anyway, before then we'll see you this Sunday for another episode of Things We Don't Know.